Yu-Gi-Oh! What's up, YouTube? This is Jammer from Team Bio, and today, guys, we got uh, two Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge boxes to open. Um, my dad actually came down from Colorado to visit me. Uh, say hello, Dad. Hello, Dad. No, you're... <laughs> Um, I was trying to explain to him how the cards work and how six samurais work or play in the meta. Uh, he didn't quite understand, so he decided he wanted to try to buy two boxes to bowl a BLS. So which 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 box, which box did you say you think had it in it? So we'll put this one to the side, and we're gonna open up this this box for you guys. <laughs> yep, he just came down, bought two old boxes. So let's see how it goes. That's actually not too bad of a pull right off the bat. No, just put the, put anything with that has the ultra. That's yeah, that's called an ultra rare. This is called a secret rare. You can tell by like the pictures. Yep. Only the first card will be on this side. You see how it has like the, the silver text versus the gold text. Mm-hmm. The and how the picture. So this will be its own. Yeah. So like how this is shiny. Yeah. So these will be on this side. Those will be on this side. And you can just stack these up. People pretty much only care about just this card. The, the Just because of this? Yeah, just because of the sparkly. So if it's sparkly, it's better. Yes. Every every pack will have a sparkly card, but the sparkly cards are not always good. So... So just throw that down. Okay. And then just pretty much throw the other four. Just flop them over. So it has to be sparkly. Yes, we're looking sparkly for. Sparkly is good. Yes, every every pack is gonna have a sparkly card, but no matter, not, no matter what. Yes, but pack. but not every sparkly card is going to be good. These are all pretty good though. <laughs> I told you that when I felt this box, it felt warm. It felt warm. Like it was a good. It was a good. Fair, Ferris Slumber and Sarah's like not too bad actually, but they're no BLS. And that, like that, for example, is one of the bad sparkly cards. That's or the lower end, or both. It's like not less it's powerful, less mean. Yes, like it's not going to be played in very many decks at all. Along with that one. Why don't they make like a special edition uh, pack that would have like strictly all those in it then? It like uh, they, they would make like like a super duper special edition. It's called a reprint set, which is what this pretty much already is. Is there reprints and then some new cards of other cards? We got a lot of packs, but we gotta start flying through this. Just keep stacking it's like them up. Christmas. <laughs> so I. Good. That one a good one? No. Why? <laughs> it's not played. It's we're pretty much looking for this the Sky Striker cards I was telling you about and that BLS link. There might be some Sky Striker cards in here. Like a an engage or a widow anchor, but I do not see one. So as of now, nothing significantly good. Just fan through the ultras real quick. Yeah, no. None of those are really too great. We're looking for the, the green the green ultra rare cards and then the blue secret rare cards. Is that the Sky Striker? Yeah, that's that is the Sky Striker, it says right there. But the the green cards that say Sky Striker is the ones that we want. None of those that's do. That's the goal. That is that is the no, one to get. No no no, it's the blue card that was up at the case. Maybe it was the other deck that felt warm. What? <laughs> Alright, that's, that's another good one. It's not the best, but it's a pretty good one to pull. He's one of the higher side. Yes. He's not very high, but he's he's up there. He's not the the one card that we want, the Black Luster Soldier. I'm just gonna put these all sideways then. 
Let's see. That's not too terrible, but it's not that expensive. We're looking for, what are the top three? That blue guy. Uh, and then the green cards that say Sky Striker on them. So the blue card that's sparkly is the one I want. Yes, that is... That is the end goal. Is yes. Buying two like, boxes. Like that one. Yes, but it's not that one specifically. That's kind of a bad one. That's not a bad card either. That's actually a very solid pull. But so where does that rank as far as that, that that's card? I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's around five dollars. Oh, that's good. One card almost that paid for a whole pack. Well, yeah, but you got to think you bought. 48 packs. <laughs> Sky Striker. Okay, that, that one is good. Yes, that is actually a good card. It's not as expensive, but it's still pretty good. And works with that one card, the blue card, right? No, it's this works with the, the deck that's the control deck, the slower deck that will eventually win the game. Two left in this pack. I was trying to explain to my dad how the game worked. That's actually not a bad one either. That's a couple bucks as well. I was trying to explain to it uh, to him how the game works. Wasn't quite understanding. And now he got disappointed. <laughs> I'm not done yet. All right, so we got another box to open. <laughs> uh, we got I'm not sure. First one, we got a Lambda, a Widow Anchor, a Lancia. Ferris and an increase. Okay. Something to build off of. Okay, that's that's another good one. That that's the other one I was talking about. I so guess that is both of yeah. them. Is what? That's the, the that's other the one that you're saying. Yeah, it's not the blue one that was up there, but I guess these were secret rare, not ultra rare. I thought they were ultra rare. Is there an ultra rare? No. But yeah. So pretty much, we just want to look at all of these cards. Any any that are sparkly. We don't care about these ones, we care mostly about these ones. Just because it's got the shininess in it? Yeah, shiny's on there and then up on the picture itself, can you see it? Oh yeah, yep, now I do. Yeah. It's, it's always going to be the first card in the pack that you see. It's always the first card, the same one that matters, huh? Pretty much, just in this pack. Let's see. Another Lambda, that's not bad. So if I had like two or three of those, they could be played, right? You can play just one of these. That's what people do is play only one of these guys, but then three of a guy called like Saruja. Then another Ferris is not bad either. What's really cool is, do you remember how I was telling, showing you my cards that their names were shifted down or shifted up? Yeah, I've seen a, up. yeah, I've seen a lot of them that have had the name shifts. So if we pull any of those, we'll go through those later. Is that only going to be on the Sparkle cards? It'll be on any, but another so one of like this is good. Of yeah, some so of some of these right here, where this was moved up, they would be worth yes. more. Yeah, could just so we need to look at those. Right? Yeah, so okay. yeah, we'll look at those after the video, though. We'll we'll look through all of our cards, see what we got. Because there still could theoretically be those misprints in these packs. Yes, in these the, packs, right here. Yeah, yes, that there still could be misprints in here. There is a chance. Okay. Let, let's see. And that's gonna make it more valuable than some of these lower cards? Yes. But, yeah. That one's not the best, huh? It's it's a cool card. Or it's a common. It's It's a cool card. In the dating world, we would say it has a good personality. Uh, <laughs> so that card, that one card that we've seen up there, this yes, is the, the Black Luster Sword, yes. It's, it's in this one, but it's very hard to pull. Says who? The just, fact that it's $60. Did you, a, did you do a pull? But it's still got to be there. It still has to be readily available to everybody. Uh, that's... <laughs> Right? He's like, that doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. That's... Welcome What's to trading. Yeah, welcome to trading card games, bud. I was explaining to him on the way here. It's, It was like, 
Yu-Gi-Oh is one of the hardest trading card games to learn with like highest learning curves. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Because like Pokemon, that's pretty simple. Magic has a little difficulty in it just because of like their dodging tactics or blocking and mana pools. But you have like defense. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then Yu-Gi-Oh is throw everything on the field. <laughs> And watch him just blow up. Pretty much. I'm gonna laugh if I find like seven or eight misprints in here. They happen to be a little bit more valuable they're... than just that one card. That I promise you, they're for. not. <laughs> That's how it happens. That's how yeah, it happens, though. If it's a misprint, I'll come. See? <laughs> this is fair. Let's be honest. Battle wasps. Is that a good one? No. I'm calling them battle bees at the regional level. Battle bees. <laughs> the battle bees. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Bam. No, just a ray. But it's shiny. So is this entire stack. <laughs> so what is the stack? If like somebody wanted dessert, is this enough to like build something off of? Potentially. I mean, I mean is it, is, there's a couple cards in there that are good to go off of, correct? Yes, there's enough to like start off a deck. Like we've pulled, like we have enough of these guys now, Ferris and Increase, where we have what's yep. called the starting of like a hero engine for like summoning a guy called a Zold or a girl named Zold. So like since we pulled two or three of each of these, that's pretty good. Would they, do they all three work together then? Like uh, all their powers are combined, everything is combined, everything that they do? These two, but not the blue guy. But these two work in other types of decks that are still pretty good. They're decent. This is another card that's in that Sky Striker. Like that's pretty, it's not expensive, but it's used in the deck. So now all we would need is just like Last a one. couple staple cards, which Last I, one. This I should is, have. This is the one right here. All right, guys, is BLS going to be in here? This is it. This is the one. What's, the, what's these packs back here? Are these empty? Those okay. are empty. This is it. It's even sealed different. If if BLS is in here, I'll... <laughs> <gasps> oh, my gosh. We'll drop it. Let's oh see it. Oh, my gosh. Nah. It's, it's blue. <laughs> it's, a saber. it's blue. <laughs> but not our guy. So. We tried. It's still yeah, there. The we, are, it, this box is cold. We, we should probably get a different box and try a different box. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please sure, be sure to like the video, comment down below. Thank you, Dad, for buying some packs for us. Yes, sir. So. Thanks for teaching me. <laughs> I taught you nothing except buying singles is usually better. We're not done yet. Okay, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will talk to you guys later. Recognize when I wreck a mic, leaving all y'all mesmerized. Killing instrumentals, but nobody wanna testify. In his prime, I think someone better check the guy. Always spitting, eat the beat, go be hard to identify. Stress minds and wreck mics and leave with the best lines. My sex life is great, cause I spit like a tech nine. Stall competition, beat them with the lead pipe. Sleep on you rappers just like it's my bedtime. You already know that old big bro from the west side. Got you hoes smoking on my flow like a meth pipe. Forever cold, I'll eat your soul like a death. Side. Headed to the top, shining brighter than a headlight You better recognize, I'm about to go off Putting on a show when I ain't even trying to show off Here's the red dot, the shot, and kill Rudolph Call me James Bond, cause I killed it with a suit on